The following project describes a synthesis of acetanilide by two processes. The chemicals required are First, take 10 milliliters of aniline in a clean and dry test tube. Add 10 milliliters glacial acetic acid to it. Mix them really well with a glass rod. Acetyl chloride, a word of precaution, its vapors are extremely poisonous, so make sure you are near a window. In a well ventilated place. The reaction with acetyl chloride is extremely vigorous and highly exothermic. So add the chemical drop by drop and keep the test tube below running water to keep it cool. After the reaction, the mixture would solidify. Heat this test tube in a water bath for about 20 minutes. After cooling down to room temperature, add the contents in a beaker containing 50 ml ice cold water. Shake it, and the precipitate of acetanilide is obtained. The crystals obtained are pure and thus can be purified by recrystallization. Now, for the same synthesis by the green method, to 10 milliliters of aniline, add 0.5 grams of zinc granules in a round bottom flask. Heat the flask containing aniline and zinc granules on a setup like this. This enables direct heating as well as simultaneous cooling of the vapors, ensuring regular heating. Also, as heating is required to produce a faster rate of reaction. If too much heated, the organic compound would just evaporate. So, apparatus known as reflux condenser, as shown, is used. After heating for about half an hour to 45 minutes, let the flask and the contents cool down to room temperature. Add them to beaker of ice cold water. And just like before, crystals of impure acetanilide are obtained. filter and collect the residue. These are how the crystals would look like after being purified.